hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. This is my second video today. I, I thought I would, I just got done with my Marguerite Miller uh, collage challenge um, for this week. And then I thought I would move right into uh, my crossword puzzle challenge. And if you're new to my crossword puzzle challenge, it's hashtag 2023CW for crossword collage. Not challenge, but crossword collage. Um, so if you'd like to join in and participate, I'd love to have you um, do such. And if you're on Instagram and you do a collage, please use this hashtag here so I can see it. Um, and also, if you're a YouTuber and you're joining in, you don't have to do them every week, but it's fun to... Um, challenge your mind and think what you're going to come up with and if you want to use a theme. I'm making a book. I have this um, for you newbies here. I have this old crossword puzzle book and I have been doing pages in this. I'm covering the left hand side where it shows all of the cover up where it shows all of the um, clues or whatever prompts, whatever you call these, I'm covering them up and I'm actually making a journal out of this so I can add photos, I can write in here, um, and all my pages are different, but you will notice that I do have a theme of using uh, my paper dowels from Vintage Sewing Patterns. And I'm going to continue to do that throughout because I have, this is just a very small grouping of what I have, but I have a ton, um, all different themes. Like I said, this is a very small pile that I picked to go through today. These are just a few, and I just find that I haven't been using them, and I love them dearly. Um, I like that one too. That might be better um, because of the theme that I'm doing today but they range in different years, uh, and I love that beret. I just wish this was a different outfit. I need to find like a, a World War II style images here, and I will tell you why. Um, so these are all my images, and I choose from the some of these groups here, and I just find it's a really nice way to use items that you have stuck in a uh, stuck in a rut, stuck in a box, stuck in a drawer. And every now and then you'll run across them and say, oh golly, gosh, you know, I haven't, there's Dallas, <laughs> Sue Ellen and Pam and um, the whole nine yards. There's Joan Collins. <laughs> uh, but there's Princess Di. But it, it's just a nice way to use uh, papers and ephemera that you have had lying around. Isn't that fabulous? Um, it, and they're just, I don't know, I, I find it a shame that, you know, we're constantly looking for something new and we're looking at, you know, digitals online and all this stuff. And you probably have so much, so much ephemera in your drawers that you don't use. This is just a really fun, nice way to use it up and you're making yourself a book. Um, if you don't have a book, you can go online and you can uh, download crossword puzzles like this. Make your own book. Um, put them in a blank book that you have. It doesn't have to, it could be, you know, I don't know, maybe a, a half a year, do do 10 weeks, whatever. Um, but, but make a nice book for yourself. That's what I'm doing. So getting to the meat and potatoes. There's a couple things that I want to show you. The first thing I want to talk about, so I'm, this is going to be, I'm going to take care of two, two things at once. I just got done reading this book. We went on vacation last week and I started this, I think I started it last Wednesday and I could not go to bed last night until I finished it. Um, yesterday, this weekend, it was Labor Day weekend, and I literally could not put this book down. 
Um, I'm a big reader and there are certain books that really strike a chord with me. And I'm, because my dad was in World War II, he was a tail gunner. Um, and I won't go into everything that he did, but he talked about the war a lot. He was very close with all of the, um, in, that were in his bomber group right up until the, the day the last one passed away. I think my dad was the last one to pass away at the age of 90. Um, but they got together a few times a year. But that being said, um, so I, I love World War II historical fiction. And I bought this book a little bit ago, and I just got to it. Um, I'm looking in here if there is a date. Um, 2022, copyright 2021. So this must have come out, yeah, 2021. And then the first paperback edition was March of 2022. So I bought this when it came out. And I've been waiting for the, the right time, the certain time I had to be in the mood. Um, and oh my goodness, the Paris Library, I cannot say enough about it. This is considered just a, a story. It's not a murder mystery. It's not uh, a thriller. Uh, this is probably... I, I read The Lilac Girls. That was a historical fiction about World War II. I, I've read a lot. But I have to say, so far to date, this book has got the most heartwarming story. And the way uh, the author, Janet Skels, Skels, Skelslin, Charles, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. The way this girl writes is just over the moon. I mean, she is a fabulous writer. She brings you in right away. Um, sometimes I get bored with just stories, but not this one. Um, and I highly recommend it. If it was on a scale of one to five, I've got to give it a 10. Um, I, I was just, I like I said, I could not put it down. It goes, I'm going to read the back to you a little bit because I know some of my gals out there are big readers. And if you haven't heard of this, so um, Paris, it goes between 1939 and 1983. So Paris, 1939, young and ambitious, I think you pronounce it, Odile Soche, has it all, a handsome police officer beau, and her dream job at the American Library in Paris. That's what this book is all about, the American Library in Paris. When the Nazi occupy the city, Odile, or o o I kept calling her Odell, but I think it's Odile, and her fellow librarians join the resistance with the best weapons they have, books. When the war finally ends, instead of savoring freedom, Ole tastes the bitter sting of betrayal. And then, so it's going to go from Odile to Lily. So now we're going from 1939 to 1983 in Montana. Lily is a lonely teenager, intrigued by the air of mystery about her elderly, solitary neighbor from Paris, who, guess who it is right here. As Lily uncovers hints about her past, meaning Odell or Odile, she finds that they share a love of language and books, never suspecting that a dark secret connects them too. The Paris Library illuminates a little known corner of history where a passion for literature inspired extraordinary acts of courage and love. I I just I was just goo goo. I'm goo goo over this book. And this is a book that I would probably read again, maybe five, six years down the road. Um, there's certain books that I do keep and I go back and I reread them because I find different times in your life, you're, you're going through different times in your life. And sometimes a book will resonate with you three or four years down the road than it did when you originally read it. Um, this, 
I just can't say enough. So if you enjoy reading and you really like good, good stories, this is historical fiction. Um, and in the back, uh, the author explains a lot um, about the Paris Library. She has a whole thing here, the author's notes, um, how she got the information and then what she does is she goes through and all the characters are written in this book she gives us a, synop a synopsis of i think where they are how their lives expanded um and how they ended after she she ended the story but this is fabulous so what i want to do today with my crossword puzzle i want to um make a page because i thought this would be a really good job or a good idea it is a job a good idea for me to do as well and start putting some of the books in here that I really have enjoyed um the past few years and doing that with my my gals here I had originally picked these out but I think I might use this because this has significance in this book I know this is a scarf but you could always take the scarf and there's a red belt here, and she could actually tie this scarf around her waist for a red belt. Um, I originally picked this because she has a, a lovely beret on, and I just thought it would be fun because um, there's a beret, a beret <laughs> that is mentioned towards the end of the book. So I'm going to see what actually is going to fit best. And then I have just a couple items here. Um, this is Paris with the Eiffel Tower. I wanted that in there. And then I have this little stamp. I got these out of a, a um, scrapbooking kit. So I thought I might use those. And then the other book I wanted to share with you that I cut these beautiful pages out of, and I want to use these flowers. Um, and I'll explain why I want to use the flowers on here. So this book here, I had done a, I think, a favorite book um, video at one time. Um, and this woman here, uh, Beholding and Becoming, The Art of Everyday Worship. I bought two of these books, one for me to read and use. And then this one to cut up. Um, I haven't cut it yet. This is the first time I'm using it, but the artwork in here is absolutely beautiful. And she's an artist and she wrote the book and uh, she also created all these amazing um, images and flowers. And these would make ni really nice pages in your junk journal. So I'm going to start using this a little bit more. Um, and I just wanted to show you, you know, some of the, some of the images in here, the flowers, the birds. Um, this can be purchased at Hobby Lobby. That's where I purchased this. It is a uh, religious book. Um I wouldn't call it a wouldn't call it a self-help book, but there's a lot of fun little passages in here, and then she breaks down the passages and how you can use them in your everyday life. And um, but it's it's a beautiful book. Look at that. So this would be very very pretty in to be used in a junk journal or um, to make some handmade cards. Um, in your scrapbooking and this okay so here it was thirty dollars and i think uh they had a 50 percent off sale so i think i got these for 14.99 right around there but it's it's a lovely book so if you like these images you can go to hobby lobby and and check that out and i'm going to grab a little drink of water here and i thought I would get these flowers cut out um, so as you can see the pages went together like this okay and 
I need to cover this up. But I'm wondering if I'm just going to start cutting and we'll chit chat a little bit. Um, I'm also wondering if maybe I shouldn't. I could just leave this on the bottom and then have this cut so it would be on the bottom of the um, the bottom of that uh, come on help me gals crossword puzzle So last week, I did not create a – I can't get my head around any of this. It's – like I said in my Marguerite Miller, um, I went on vacation, my family and I, and – I didn't make a video last week of uh, my crossword puzzle challenge. I just, I ran out of time and I thought, well, I didn't want, I don't want people to think that you have to make, if you're working on these, that you have to make one every single week. Um, you don't have to. The whole point is just to have fun if you are creating these. I hope I'm in camera. For some reason, my chair isn't going totally under my desk today. Um, you know, and like I said, this is just something for you to create with. And, and do at your own pace. Um, so this here, I'm just going to cut down a little bit just to make that straight. So it's, it is good to be back. Um, I will say that when I was when I was away, it's always nice to go away on vacation and spend time with the family. And both boys and my daughter-in-law went. Um, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to try to do what Carol Laws does. Carol Laws is very methodical on her cutting and, oh, I just admire everything that she does with that X-Acto knife. She does such a good job. Sorry, I got my head under my table here looking for a specific item to use, and I can't find it. Um... Oh, come on, Barbie. Oh, here it is. Carol uses one of these a lot, and then she'll line everything up, and then she just takes her knife and cuts it. And um, she makes it look so easy that I don't know if I can do it or not. I'm going to give it a, let me give it the old college try. I think the problem is this isn't, that's not on the line that I'd have to put it on a main line, right? Um, little butterfingers here. Oh, 
Well, I guess I'm going to have to bring it down to this one. That's really weird. There's no line there, and there's... Oh, I guess that's it. Looks like it's out of whack. to here to here. How we have my old gray hair in the picture here. But no, I, we were away last week and um, it was nice. And I was anxious to get home. Uh, I do like to go on vacation, but after about day five, I start to get bored um, because I just were just hanging out and eating out every day. And uh, I don't know. It's fun for a while. But after a while, it's my poor son. Uh, we went out one night and we had uh, he had fish and chips. And wouldn't you know, he got food poisoning. And oh, it was it was awful. My heart went out <laughs> to him. Uh, it was just horrendous. I felt so bad for my son. I've had food poisoning before. And if you've ever had it, oh gosh, you know what, what he went through. I don't wish that on anybody. All right, so I got sick on the tartar sauce. Okay, so this I'm going to put here like this, I think. And I think that'll be a nice backdrop. I could put, and these again, they don't have to be elaborate. It's just... I'm going to cut these out because I don't know if I'll be able to use these gals. They might be a little too tall. It's, again, it's just something. It's a project, a book, just to have fun with because you don't have to worry about any prompts. That's why I started this challenge. Um, I know some gals... They don't like prompts, or they don't like the prompts that are handed out and given to them. Sometimes it's hard for, for gals to find the items um, that are mentioned. I know if you don't, if you don't have access to vintage ephemera, like, I don't know if your Goodwill ever offers um, magazines. Or if you have, I'll, you know, I'll say a Salvation Army. I guess that's still Goodwill, isn't it? Um, I've never seen magazines or anything. In there, we have a, a Salvation Army. Once in a while, I would go in there looking for books to cut up. Uh, some places, you, you can really, they have a lot in their Goodwill. Uh, we don't. But we do have a lot of antique centers around here. That's another place where you can find um, items we uh, were close to Vermont, 
and Vermont has an awful lot of antique centers. So, uh, you know, as we're driving through there at times, you know, on our way to Maine or New Hampshire, whatever, um, once in a while, you know, if we have the time, I'll ask my husband if we can take the time to stop and take a peek. Um, my son's um, Taekwondo instructor, he has a really cool antique place. Um, that's where I got my 19, oops, see, gotta be careful. They're so delicate. That's where I uh, purchased all of my 1940 Better Homes and Gardens. I got them from Roger and he charged me a dollar each. So I took 10 at the time and I talked to him not too long ago, and I asked him if he had access to pick up any. Um, there's a magazine that Debbie over at My Vagabond Dream uses. It's called Holiday, and I think she said she got hers on eBay, but they're quite expensive, um, and I love Collier Magazine. So when I was talking to Roger, I asked him if he could keep his eyes open for any Collier, you know, or Holiday. Um, I know that there's shops on Etsy that have images like this, but I don't know how they can print and use them because the McCall's and Simplicity, they, they're all copyrighted. So you can use them in your own books like I do, but you can't, you can't copy them. Um, you're not supposed to digitize them and, and resell them. So I don't know where those images come from. So I can put these ladies. I don't want to cover that flower up. I wanted to put my saying up here. Um, hmm. Unless what I do, all right, help me here, ladies. Uh, I definitely want to use these two gals, not these. These look, these look more, I just don't want to co cover up that beautiful flower there. And I wanted to put my word here. So sometimes you have to, um, change things up. And they say the best laid plans of mice and men. Oh, let me think about this for a minute. If I put it there, then there she's right over that flower. And I don't know if I like that because I just think that flower is so pretty there. I don't want to cut their feet off. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
unless I did this, I could put it uh, I could put it here like this, and then I could take this side, but then that's not going to eat that's not going to be even, is it? It's not going to even up. I put that over there like that. Hmm. All right, let me think about this for a minute and I will be right back. All right, so I flipped the page over. I went over a few, a few here, and this page actually works rather well because I'll be able to get. Um, I'm going to write my word in my saying in now, and I'm going to work around that. Uh, I'm actually going to just write the title of the book, and let me find my yep. Yeah. Um, in the upper left hand corner and that's what I didn't want to um, yeah I didn't want to interfere before her little head was going to be amongst the word the library so it's the Paris library okay and then if i have space somewhere else um i would write a couple other little things in there so this i know we're going to put this right here okay and i'm just going to take this so it's not too busy over there i'm going to put that back there so you don't get distracted so this is going to go down right here But I also read um, two great books by another author. These were these were murder mysteries. Um, his name is David Bell, B E L L. I don't know if you've ever read any of his books. Um, again, he is his books are murder mystery. There's not a lot of really big twists in them, um, but he has really good stories. And I've read three of his books. The one that I just got done is called The Hiding Place, H-I-D-I-N-G. And um, that's about a family that their little boy was killed. Um and it's the whole book is all about finding out what happened and how it how it affected the family. Um, very good. Another very good book. I couldn't put that one down. I do like David Bell. Like I said, not a lot of twists and turns and like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that just happened. Um, with Lisa Gardner, you get those moments. What? Um so this, this book here was a really nice change. So I think I'm going to put this in between the gals, and I want to put, want to put the Eiffel Tower in between them, and I want the Paris to show. Um, and I can actually move her over a little bit. So I'm going to adhere them just like this. And I'm trying to think what else I can. It's not really much else. We're headed back out to Cleveland. Um, 
so my husband can get clearance from his heart doctor for his hip surgery in October. Always something going on. Um, and I'm hoping after this, I'll just be able to stay home for a little bit. Of course, I shouldn't complain. We really, we haven't been going anywhere. I just know once I get home, I don't like, I don't like to go anywhere. I don't know about you. This, I think I'd like to put a little border maybe up on top there. I'm going to cut a little bit here. Let's see. Let's see what that will look like. I just remember my just about that. Yeah, and then we got home from vacation. Um, we went from a Saturday to a Friday. And I, we came home Friday and I, I got up. Um, I might do a little border on each side here. Uh, and I saw, we saw that Jimmy Buffett died. And we are huge huge Jimmy Buffett fans. Um, we've seen him in concert. Um, half an inch. We, when we go to Key West, we are constantly going to um, his restaurant, Margaritaville. Um, my husband drives me nuts because every time, every time I get in the car, he has Jimmy Buffett on. And I'm like, oh, come you know, once in a while, I say, give me a break. But we were shocked when we heard um, that he had passed away. So when we got home this weekend, it was a Jimmy Buffett weekend. We, we were outside, um, you know, hanging out by the pool. And, uh, you know, listening to his music. We played some games outside and uh, let's try this here and uh, we had friends come over Sunday for a cookout for Labor Day and I made two key lime pies so I'm still I still can't wrap my head around that he's he's passed away I just, I don't get upset over celebrities that pass. Um, but I don't know. I just, this has kind of hit me. Um, and I think it's just because, I mean, we didn't know he was sick. Let's see, do I want to do that? That might be kind of, what do you think? We'll close in. This has to be cut down a little bit more. Um, well, I guess I'm going to have to look for my little cutter and I can't find her. Here she is. Um, so yeah, so Labor Day weekend was... Like I said, it was nice to be home. Did some weeding. Getting ready for, you know, uh, take all my plants down. Cut them down for fall and winter. I think I'm going to enclose that. I think it looks better than just having it all white there. Um. Uh, made arrangements to have the pool closed. So 
So that will be done uh, next week, probably when we're when we're away. Um, yeah, and then I can take a break for, you know, with that, I don't have to go out and we'll have to go out and clean the pool and, and I can just concentrate on getting everything deadheaded around the property. All right, so that's what we're going to do. So I have to clip a little bit. My son's trying to talk me into getting a new phone, trading the phone in. I have the Z Fold, the Samsung Z Fold now, and he's trying to... Uh, talk me into getting a new one because he said I can get it for free. Well, I'd like the flip. I've really enjoyed the Z Fold because um, it's great for me, you know, if I want to, um, you know, look, look at things. This is, this is my, this is a Z Fold and you open it up and Everything is like my Instagram is all, it's big. It's, it's like a mini tablet and it's just really, really nice. Um, but it's kind of bulky and I don't know. So I want, I'd like one of those, the new flip phone, Samsung flip phone. They remind me of the old Game Boys that the, the kids used to play with. Um, And I can get it for free. So my son's saying, like, Mom, why why wouldn't you not want to to trade your phone in? And it will cost you nothing. But I'm always a little leery about these deals and stuff. I don't know. Then I think, what if I don't like the flip? What if I find it too small? So I kind of have to think, what do I actually use my phone for other than texting? And I'm not on my phone a lot anymore. Um, I really just, I don't even carry it with me a lot of the time. So, I don't know. I have to think about that. All right, so these gals are going to go right here. You know, this book as well um, it makes you think a lot about what an older person can teach a younger person. Um, do I remember where I want to put this, ladies? Right here. Um, there's a lot of wisdom that's imparted in this book that can be imparted, you know, onto a granddaughter or a great niece. Um, 
especially in this day and age when everybody is, you know, loose tongued and just say, you know, they say so much on social media, but, you know, they don't say it to people's faces. And sometimes they do say it to people's faces and it's very hurtful. Um, there's so much division that words really hurt. So, again, this book is, um, I just think it has a lot to impart. Let's see how this looks here. So for those that are still with me, thank you. This is probably a little bit longer video. Um, I haven't made a long, long video in a long time. I know everybody's busy. But I guess this is a twofold um, video. I have some new ink coming for my Epson printer, and once I get once that comes, I'm gonna print off a lot of papers because I am gonna make that cowgirl journal and some other journals that are that I want to make for Christmas gifts and stuff. So, all right, I think I'm going to put this down here. I think that will look nice. I just have to decide. I guess I'll use plain paper over here so I can write. Although I do kind of like this here. I could put a photo on here. And then if I did want to type some, write something on here, uh, I could do that, couldn't I? Because I think it's just pretty, this whole big spread. I could actually put that over there. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to cut this down again. Get my handy dandy cutter here. I'm gonna straighten that out. Take a little bit more off this side. I don't want to lose the words over here. And I think that is just perfect. I'll get that glued on. This is the quote that I had. From my Marguerite Miller. So when I mentioned in my last video that the, it was a little bit big to put on my collage, you can see, yes, it was definitely a little too big. So let me know, because I've been away, so let me know what you all have been doing and working on. You know, I am very interested in what everybody is doing, how your summer has been going. I wish you were across. I know you're across the table from me, but you're in the mute mode, so I can't hear what you're telling me or talking to me about while you're watching. Okay, I think that's really pretty. And I think we'll put this one right over here. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, glue this whole thing down. So that way, if I do have a photo I want to put in here, um, I can slide it. I'll use this like as a little corner, a little corner pouch. And then I could just slide a photo, be like a photo holder, right tucked in there. So if I had something, say if I had a little card, this is a, I'll use this one here. I could just slide it if I had a photo. And then this could be the little photo holder here. All right, so that is there. That is that. I think that's good. Uh, let's see. What's the other? I don't know if there's an other one. I'm going to see if I can fit 
there's one other word in, in the book that is used, and I want to see if I can fit that in there. All right, so it's going to fit. So I want to put in here, je t'aime, um, which means I love you. Some people, je t'aime, but it's je t'aime. Um, so it's j. I'm going to do this in lowercase, I think. J. I'm going to do it upper. J. E. T. It's a little comma. A. I. M. J. T. M. There we go. That is used a lot in the book. Um, so there you have it. That is my. Uh, 2023, this is where my hashtag, my 2023 um, crossword collage for this week. And I just think that these pages are really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, that is it. I want to thank everybody for joining in on my entire thought process, process on this today. And grab this book if you are a reader and you want a good book. Um, I, I can't say enough about this. So I want to thank everybody again. If you're new, I'd love to have you subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, give me a thumbs up again if you enjoyed it. And I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear if you read the book and what you thought about it. Um, wouldn't it be kind of fun to get a little book club going here uh, as well? Um, and then we could chat back and forth about the book, yada, yada, yada. Um, so that's it. I want to thank everybody for joining in. I really appreciate your support. And um, with all that being said, I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.